when you prepare for your exams, you don't want to use a study technique that is, um, that is, that is basically you writing as many notes as possible and reading as many notes as possible and highlighting and flagging. I'm sure that's what you've been doing the whole year. What you now need to be doing is employing a study technique called active recall or active retrieval where you are actually now putting yourself to the test. And what does this mean? You are basically going to select tutorials, select questions from your question bank or past papers, and you're going to sit down and you're going to simulate exam conditions and put yourself and put yourself under time pressure and try to attempt responding to these questions, right? And when you are doing this, guys, you don't want to be looking at the solution because again, we're simulating exam conditions. Because if you do look at the solution, the OER method that we all know, right, you are actually robbing yourself of the opportunity to be able to apply the things that you have been putting into your brain for, for, the, for the entire year, right? And this skill, guys, of application is the skill that's going to be required of you where? on the day of the exam, which is why we are saying you need to practice like you would play on the day of the exam. And obviously, as you are practicing, you, you are using your watch, you are using a clock um, of some sort that you can actually get. I use the lime green clock that I got from Crazy Store. Use that thing, get familiar with that thing. You don't want to get on to the exam on the day of the exam and realize that the clock in in the hall is actually not is actually not working or you're sitting in an awkward situation or in a, in an awkward in an awkward position and you're not able to see what time it is so practice under under time pressure practice under exam conditions and once you're done practicing you want to mark when you mark you're actually cementing your knowledge of the subject matter you will get things right and you will get things wrong and where you are actually getting things wrong it's important for you to cascade it further to double click and ask yourself why am i getting things wrong am i getting things wrong because i'm not reading the question properly and understanding it am i getting things wrong because very like content i don't get the content or am i getting things wrong because i'm not able to mark because again there's what we call principle marking in 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 in, in these in these in these um with these subjects right so make sure that you're marking you're marking properly right and when you when you train yourself in marking you are actually getting familiar and confident with the language that the examiner uses to examine as well as the language that the examiner uses when they are actually writing out the script so again you are getting used to the language you're getting comfortable you're getting confident with the content the more you mark your work the second thing is you want to you want to make sure that you're giving yourself the best the best chance of winning in the exam and the best chance speaks to you being well rested. I would rather you arrive at an exam well rested than you trying to cross night and trying to drink. I don't know what drinks you guys drink at the night before an exam, trying to, to cram as many things into your system as possible in an attempt to look and sound or even feel like you are more ready or more prepared for an exam right so sleep is a very important part of the process or of your exam technique sleep is the one thing that will actually that will actually help you in an exam right because sleep facilitates with um helps you recharge it helps with memory consolidation and 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 learning and those are the things that you need to perform well in an exam so on the day of the exam again another good exam technique is that during reading time again you are identifying triggers right so you're underlining you're circling you're writing small notes you're not doing deep calculations but again this is for awareness then the second thing is once the question comes out once the you are required comes out you want to prioritize which question you're going to start with and which question do you start with you start with the question that you know the most the question where you are going to get the most marks the one that when you look at you're like yeah this one i'm going to nail and the reason you want to do that is because you understand that writing an exam is a game and it's a game of trying to bag as many marks as possible in the quickest possible time but outside of that when you start with things that you know they give you they give you confidence and it sets the momentum for the duration of the exam even when you start approaching more difficult sections because already mindset is of the fact that okay i can pass this exam you approach more difficult sessions or other sections 
uh, in a better in a better mindset, right? <clears throat> so that's what you want to do. And then the second way of prioritizing your question is you want to do the question that has the most marks, right? So that's how you would go about prioritizing it. And once you've prioritized your questions, next to each question, you're going to then put in the timestamps when you are actually going to write this exam or rather attempt this question. What do I mean? So if you're going to start with question two, just as an example, between nine, which is the time that you will be writing the exam, between nine and 9.30, you will be doing this question. And then between 9.30 and 10 o'clock, just as an example, you will be doing the second question and so on. What are you doing? You are actually allocating sufficient time for each question so that you give yourself, so that you give yourself you give each question um, the time that it, it deserves because again, coverage is a very is a very important thing when it comes to exams. You want to make sure that you've attempted everything and you've given yourself um, the opportunity to attempt everything. So again, the the way and which is something that I see with a lot of students that that's becoming more and more prevalent is that students are not are not finishing exams and we're not going to finish exams by accident. We're going to finish them by design. And this is just one of the ways you can do it by having these timestamps. But again, having practice like we would play. So during your preparation times, as you're doing tutorials, you're doing them under exam technique, I mean, under time pressure, and that's actually helping you with what? Managing your time. That's, help, that's helping you understanding how to manage time with every question that you do. I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much guys for watching and if this is your kind of content, please do subscribe and share this message with as many people as you can. Comment, let me know what you, what you liked about this video and yeah, hope to see you next time. Thank you.